Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the easiest and best VPN I've ever used. This is for iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac, and I'm going to show you on iPhone and on Android as well. And this is basically in response to a lot of you saw the videos I made on how to set up a VPN on iOS and on Android. They were two separate videos, and I always get asked, what's the username and password? Well, that was a free VPN and that's not necessarily that secure. It was just to show you how to set it up. But if you want a really good secure VPN, you normally have to pay for it. And this particular VPN is NordVPN. You can subscribe monthly or yearly and you can subscribe through the app or on their website. And usually the website has better deals. So that's usually the preferred way to sign up if you can do that. So all you need to do is install this app and then use your username and password select where you want to connect out of and they have all of these countries so say you want to connect out of i don't know any one of these i'll connect out of the united states tap this on the map and hit yes it's that quick and you're connected the first time you do this you'll get a prompt saying do you want to allow this and then once you're connected you'll know that by that little square or rectangular symbol up here that says vpn in the upper left and this particular vpn is incredibly secure. It's 2048 bit SSL. Now to put that in perspective, a lot of people use 256 bit SSL. This is 2048 and it's basically unhackable by supercomputers. So that's really nice. You've got this privacy and security and what a VPN allows you to do is maintain a secure connection, especially if you're in public Wi-Fi. So if you're in public Wi-Fi, it's not a good idea to go on a lot of different secure sites because you don't want to make sure you want to make sure you don't get hacked or someone doesn't capture your connection, your username and passwords, things like that can actually pretty easily be transmitted over public Wi-Fi and you didn't even know someone grabbed it. So you create a secure VPN tunnel while you're doing that. And then the nice thing is it allows you to do other things as well. So you have geo unblocking. And what that means is say you're from the United States, you're traveling outside the United States. Say you're over in Europe, maybe you're in France and you want to make sure that it looks like you're in the United States so you can get things like Netflix and Hulu because they're not necessarily the same over in Europe as they are in the United States. Or maybe you're over in China and you have social media that's blocked. As long as you can VPN back, you can get back in as far as to what you want to get into. So all you need to do to switch through connections is say we want to connect through Mexico. We'll hit yes and then it's connected to Mexico. And that's really incredibly easy. The other thing you can do that's nice is you've got this kill switch option. And what this kill switch option is, is it allows you to kill the connection if the connection drops. So say your internet connection drops for whatever reason, it will actually stop the data going to the different applications or resources or websites you're going to so that no information is compromised. So it's pretty nice, it's real simple. You can set up your favorite servers, you just have your my account and then you can have smart reconnect. So if it disconnects, you can reconnect. It's pretty nice. You've got those really simple options. And again, a huge list of countries. The app is similar on Android. This is a pixel XL. This is a seven plus. So if we go into Android, you'll see the applications pretty similar. It's not identical. We'll just go ahead and maybe we'll connect out of Canada. Give it a second. And again, you'll get prompted a few times the first time you do this, and now it's on. That's it. You've got this little key up here that lets you know you're connected through VPN, and now I'm connected on multiple devices. And with the subscription, it actually lets you connect up to six devices simultaneously. So you could have your Android phone, an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, a Windows computer, all connected at the same time to different locations around the world. And I think that's pretty nice. On Android, you have the Smart Play option that says get instant access to Hulu, Netflix, BBC, ITV, Sky, RAI, I'm not familiar with that one, and much more, all from anywhere in the world. You just turn that on. Let's see if we can, there we go. And it says just press play and enjoy your favorite shows and complete privacy. So VPNs are a really handy thing. Businesses have been using these for years to, to maintain safe private connections when you don't want business data compromised or you're on public Wi-Fi and you don't want any information compromised across that, these are a great way to do that. And it stays connected when you're outside of the app. You can just tell that again by the key or the VPN rectangle up here in the upper left. And that's it. 
It's that simple. So I'll leave a link to their website in the description below and also the apps as well. It's really simple. I've never used a VPN. You just flip a switch and it works and it's super encrypted. And there's other features as well. If you want to check it out on their website, there are a ton of different features, super fast servers, double data encryption, that kill switch I mentioned, and it's just really nice. And again, you want to check out their website for different deals. They have some pretty good deals there. So if you have any other questions or comments, if you've used NordVPN, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.